Congratulations on your kidney transplant. At the start of the transplant process, you took an educational class and received a kidney transplant book. This book contains information on the care of your kidney. If you do not have a kidney transplant book, you can ask for one from your inpatient nurse or outpatient nurse coordinator. This video will cover what you need to know when you're preparing to go home from the hospital. You can watch this video again on the Michigan Medicine Transplant app or by using the QR code provided to you by your nurse. We recognize that leaving the hospital after your transplant may cause anxiety. We are here to help you and we can be reached in the following ways. For patients who are enrolled in our patient portal, you may send non-urgent messages to your doctor or nurse coordinator at any time through the portal. Messages are answered Monday through Friday only. Once again, this is for non-urgent questions only. If you are not enrolled in the online patient portal, we encourage you to do so. Any staff member can help you get started with this. You can call the transplant clinic Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at 1-800-333-9013. If you have an urgent need or question after hours or during a holiday, please call the paging line service at 734-936-4000 and ask to speak with transplant surgery on call. If you are having a medical emergency or if you need help immediately, call 911 or go to your closest emergency department. Before you go home from the hospital, we will give you a thermometer, a pill box, and a blood pressure cuff. We ask that you check and record your weight once a day, your temperature twice a day, and your blood pressure three times a day. You will record all of this on the transplant patient home monitoring grid sheet. We may ask you to re also record your blood sugar readings on the home blood glucose reading sheet. Please bring all of these tracking sheets to all of your follow-up appointments. Hello, I'm one of the transplant pharmacists that works with the kidney transplant team. Before you leave the hospital, the inpatient clinic team will give you your prescriptions for your new medication plan, including your anti-rejection medicines. Anti-rejection medications are pills that are taken lifelong to prevent your body from rejecting your new kidney. We will help you get these medications before you leave the hospital. Some insurance companies require that transplant medications go through a specialty pharmacy. A pharmacy financial advisor will reach out to you to come up with a plan that best fits your needs. If you have any further questions or concerns about refills or the cost of your medications, please talk to your nurse coordinator. We will also make a personalized medication sheet for you to follow once you leave the hospital. Make sure you follow this plan instead of the instructions on your pill bottles because your medication doses may change. Please pay attention to the strengths of the pills that you are taking and follow the directions on your personalized medication sheet. At home, you will follow this sheet and update it when your physician, nurse, or pharmacist tells you to. Please bring this sheet along with your pill box filled with seven days worth of your medicines and all of your medication bottles to your first clinic appointment after your surgery. One of our transplant pharmacists will see you at this appointment, review your medication plan, and answer any questions that you have. If you have any questions on how to reach the pharmacy after you leave the hospital, the number is on the back of your pill box. As you prepare to go home, please remember to do the following. Take all of your medications as directed. Drink two to three liters of water every day, which is about four to six water bottles. We do not recommend drinking well water. And try not to drink anything caffeinated like coffee, tea, or energy drinks because these can dehydrate you. If you have slow or delayed kidney function after your transplant, your doctor may ask you to limit your water intake. Shower every day, letting warm soapy water run over your incision. Do not rub or scrub your incision, and the glue will flake off on its own in two to four weeks. Do not submerge your incision in water like you would in a tub. And after your shower, pat yourself dry with a clean towel. Keep your incision clean and dry, and do not put lotion or ointment on your incision. Do not lift anything heavier than 10 pounds for six weeks after surgery. For reference, a gallon of milk is almost nine pounds. Do not drive until your surgeon says it's okay and never drive while you are taking narcotic or opioid pain medication. While you are awake during the day, remember to use your incentive spirometer every hour doing 10 repetitions. Please continue these exercises for the first two weeks after your transplant. It is important to stay active by walking. Try to slowly increase your activity back to the level of activity you were at before your transplant. Getting up to take short walks around your home four to six times a day will help you increase strength and decrease your risk of blood clots. Avoid activities that put pressure on your incision. You should speak to your doctor about when it is safe to get back to sexual activity. It is important that you keep track of any changes in your body after your surgery and share that information with the transplant team. 
The following could be signs of an infection, and they should be reported immediately to your care team. A temperature of 100.5 or more. An incision that is red, warm to the touch, painful to touch, swelling, or draining fluid. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or constipation. If you are unable to urinate, if you feel pain with urination, if you have new or increased blood in your urine, or if your urine has a bad smell. If you have swelling, redness, or pain in one or both of your arms or legs, you should report that immediately to your transplant team. If you are having a medical emergency, or if you need immediate help, call 911 or go to your closest emergency room. At your first follow-up appointment after your surgery, you will meet with your new transplant nephrologist, your post-kidney nurse coordinator, the surgical team, and a transplant pharmacist. Please make sure you arrive at least 30 minutes before your scheduled appointment and go to the lab in Taubman Center, Floor 1, Reception D. This is located right next to the transplant clinic, which is the Taubman Center, Floor 1, Reception G. The lab will have orders for your blood draw and a urine sample. Each time you have labs drawn, we will check your tacrolimus level, which is also called your tacro level. Tacro, tacrolimus, or Invarsis is the anti-rejection medication you will be taking. Dosing for this medication is done by looking at the trough level of the drug. A trough level is the lowest concentration of the drug prior to your next dose, so do not take your tacro or Invarsis medication until after your blood draw. Be sure to bring this medication with you along with your other medications so that you can take it immediately after your blood work is drawn. Again, congratulations on your transplant. We wish you a speedy recovery and we look forward to working with you to keep your new kidney healthy for years to come. The transplant clinic is available to take your calls Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at 1-800-333-9013. If you have an urgent need or questions after hours or during a holiday, please call the direct paging line service at 734-936-4000 and ask to speak with the transplant surgery on call.